Hey, Internet, this is Jacob Clifford. I made this quick video because I made a live stream review talking about my predictions for this year's AP test, but the quality was just junk. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my predictions for the AP macro free responses and micro free responses, but before that, here's a few tips. At this point, you gotta figure out what you know and you don't know, so I made this document for you. It has all the video links to all these different concepts and ideas. Read through that, circle the ones you don't know, and maybe go and watch those videos, or no, you have to practice and understand those concepts. Again, this is free. It's inside my Ultimate Review Pack. It, just sign up for the free preview. And there's also a free review worksheet covering units one through three and a live stream video that I made that'll help you practice those concepts. Just scroll down to review sessions. There's a link in there with the worksheet and to the YouTube video. And keep in mind, I'm gonna lead live review sessions the night before the AP exam, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Get you ready for the test. It's your last chance to ask some questions. I'll go over some key ideas and make sure you guys are ready. So between now and then, you definitely should fill out the study guides in my ultimate review packet. Fill out the ultimate sheet sheet. Make sure you've got all those graphs ready to go. And of course, do some of the practice exams. And I should mention this, if you're a teacher, make sure to sign up for one of my workshops. I would love to work with over the summer. Okay, all that said, let me tell you what are my predictions for the 2023 AP Econ free responses. Now here's a warning, I don't know what's on the AP exam, I have no clue, I'm just taking a guess, I'm looking at past free responses and guessing based on the future. I don't know, so don't get mad at me if I'm wrong. This is what I think it is, though. As you know, there's three fair responses. For macro, I think the first fair response is gonna have you draw either aggregate demand supply or the Phillips curve showing a positive output gap. They always ask aggregate demand and supply questions, but I think this year that might just be just the Phillips curve. Make sure you can draw both of those and make sure you can show what happens in the long run. From there, I think they're gonna ask you about the money market graph showing the idea of supply and demand for money and giving you some sort of shift let's say an increase in demand because there was higher inflation. And after that, they're gonna ask you about monetary policy and they're gonna say, what can the central bank do to mitigate the higher interest rates that happen from the increase in the demand for money? So make sure you understand the idea of monetary policy and the three graphs, aggregate demand supply, the Phillips curve, and the supply and demand for money, the money market. For free response number two, I think they're gonna ask you about the loanable funds market. Make sure you can draw that graph and show what happens when there's an increase in savings. By the way, I just posted a new video talking about the loanable funds market. Some teachers don't get a chance to fully get to it. So you can watch that video if you still need to cover loanable funds. I think the rest of the question is gonna focus on balance of payments and what's gonna happen when there's a higher interest rate to the capital and financial account that you learn in unit six. And I think they're gonna ask you a question about the foreign exchange market. So make sure you can draw that graph and show what happens when there's an increase in interest rates. Now the third and last favorite response I think is gonna be on comparative advantage. We haven't seen one of these for a while. Make sure you can calculate per unit opportunity cost, right? How many planes cost how many boats. Make sure you figure out who should specialize in what, who has the comparative advantage, and figure out terms of trade. If it ends up not being compared advantage, I think the question will be some other thing that requires you to calculate. So a question that has you actually calculate GDP or the real, or the nominal, or calculate unemployment. And that's why I created a key equations practice sheet. It's in the ultimate review packet. And as you practice those hard to calculate equations and numbers that you're likely to see on the AP test. Okay, that's macroeconomics. For microeconomics, I think the first fair response is gonna be perfect competition, side-by-side -side graphs. So make sure you can draw the market and a firm with the firm having a loss. And make sure you can both draw and explain what's gonna happen in the long run. I also think they're gonna ask you about the shutdown rule and maybe something else about how cost curves shift. Remember the change in fixed cost does not change the marginal cost and therefore it does not change the output. So a lump sum tax or subsidy doesn't affect the quantity a firm actually produces because it only affects the fixed cost. For free response number two, I think they're gonna ask you a question that requires you to use a chart and marginal analysis. So this will be something like a firm in a perfectly competitive labor market hiring workers. You have to calculate marginal revenue product and figure out how many workers maximizes profit. Or it could be a question that gives you the total cost, so you have to calculate marginal cost and figure out how many units to produce. Either way, make sure you can calculate profit. But I think the question is gonna focus on the labor market and make sure you understand the idea of a monopsony and that monopsony hires a lower number of workers at a lower wage than a competitive market. And for micro free response number three, I think they're gonna ask you about taxes. The AP test loves asking questions that require you to calculate things, so you have to calculate consumer surplus or deadweight loss or the tax revenue that goes to the government makes you understand that and the idea of the elasticity of demand coefficient. And remember the 
College Board's been asking students more and more to show their work. So if you see show your work, set up the equation, go through all the steps of how you got that right answer. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Remember, we've got some live stream reviews the night before the AP exams. That's gonna be on Wednesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Good luck getting ready for the AP test. Till next time.